Communities can more effectively address public health concerns when they have access to local level data. They can make more informed decisions about the most effective strategies to select and implement based on the local problem that they identify. Intentional wraparound support is really important to help ensure that they're able to implement um, their strategies these particular, two particular um, organizations were very open and excited actually about having that type of capacity building opportunity presented to them. Now that we've learned how to do the SPIF process, I mean, I think that we will be in a very good position for, you know, funding and for really knowing what is going to work in our community. Our coalition is called uh, River Hills Prevention Connection, and um, we are a body of um, people who come together from our community, from all different walks. Our vision is to have a healthy community. We also have um, a youth-led team that's also called Impact, just like our agency, and that group of young people are looking into the Ohio Healthy Youth Environment Survey. This year we have all eight of our county schools that in, engaged in Ohio Healthy Youth Environment Survey. So for the first time in pretty much probably all of my ex existence here in the county in 1991 to now, that'd be the first time we have a, a clear picture of the whole county and what's going on. The focus for Adams County is on underage drinking. That was the highest um, numbers and need that we found from the OES data. The meeting today was to connect with the schools because they are such an important piece with this because, you know, that's where we get our data. And, you know, if we can't work with them and cooperate with them, we can't do what we have to do. So we, we wanted to um, make them realize how important they are to the process and what we can give back to them. Now we're at that stage where things will happen faster and the growth will happen faster and expand, and, and I think that part is exciting. The initial investment of $33,000 by ANEP yielded a $1.5 million grant from SAMHSA. What this project shows us is that the Appalachian New Economy Partnership funding does build the capacity of public and nonprofit organizations in the region. The new funding will allow the communities to dig further into their data and select one or more prevention priorities that the communities have that they can come together and work on.